What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Cydia alternative. And this one's a bit unique, I'll show you guys more so in a minute here. But it's a bit different than Tweakbox and Tutu, Top Store, Ignition, all of those Cydia alternatives that I've covered here on the channel. Like I said, it's a bit different, but it works really, really good. Um, from what I can tell, it's kind of still being developed because some things look a little goofy to me like i said i'll show you guys in a minute but anyways uh this is cyrus hub and it's pretty cool so and i'll leave the link for this down in the description uh cyrushub.app again the link is in the description all you gotta do is click on install cyrus hub click on allow here it's going to set up a profile on your device go ahead and click on install and then you input your passcode if you have one set up on your device. Pretty straightforward, very similar to Tweakbox. Click on install again and install one more time. And now that we have the profile set up, we can go ahead and click on done. And we can exit out of Safari. And there you guys go. As you can see, there is Cyrus Hub. Uh, pretty cool looking icon. I do like the style. Uh, let's go ahead and launch it. Now, like I said, guys, this is a bit different than Tweakbox, Ignition, Top Store, all of those other... Uh, City alternative applications. We'll go ahead and click on continue. Uh, it's really straightforward. Like I said, I think this is still kind of being developed. It's pretty new looking and some things aren't loading correctly, but uh, it's really cool. So as you can see, here is the library. That's all there is to it. Just the library. There's no bottom bar to switch through things. Pretty straightforward. So obviously you have your emulators section here, all the different emulators you can get. It actually seems to be loading a little better today. As you can see, some of the icons don't load, and that's what I was talking about. I think it's still kind of being uh, developed without those icons showing. It's kind of goofy looking, but uh, this is the emulators, so you can get emulators. You got your entertainment here for things like Bobby Movie, um, Media Box, all that stuff to watch free movies, free TV. You got Cody, a bunch of other stuff. We can go ahead and back out. You have your social media section here, Instagram Rocket. I've covered that covered a lot of this stuff back out to the library again we have our tweaked apps section as you can see there's a total of 225 different tweaked apps that you can download uh, through cyrus hub clash of clans hack a bunch of other hacks you got your other apps section here things like getting the ios 12 betas on your device this is where you can get the profile to do that so this is another um, you know, cool place to download that. You can get the Uncovered Jailbreak. I believe that's the latest version as well. It's what I have on my iPhone 7 Plus. A bunch of the other jailbreaks. As you can see, you can get Electra, uh, Roll Electra, Edison. You got Files uh, in here. Next up is the Themes section. I think this is really cool. This is going to allow you to use themes on your device, even if you're not jailbroken, which is really cool. So let's just go into Insight here. It'll give you a little screenshot of what the icons look like. So another great feature of Cyrus Hub is you can actually use it to theme your device. No jailbreak. Really cool. We can take a look at a couple of the other themes here. Let's take a look at Pebby. Very basic looking. We'll take a look at one more. Uh, let's check out, um, did we do Insight? Let's check out Delight. Got kind of a circle icon look there. Very cool. Really neat that you can theme your device without a jailbreak. And then you have your settings here. So that you can do some, you know, some different things with it. You have customization, um, and you can use skins with this. But like I said, I don't think it's implemented yet, and it's taking forever to load here. Um, we've got the loading bar in the middle. Um, but when you get into the customization section, it gives you the ability to use different skins, but there's only one available within the menu. So I think that that's kind of weird doesn't seem to want to load here maybe we can back out or we can just kill the app from multitasking uh, like I said guys I think this is still kind of being developed it's in very very early versions yet let's try and jump back in there customization it might do the same thing again well you guys will just have to check out the com uh, customization yourself um, but what I think is cool about this is if you guys noticed let's go into entertainment here and let's choose Bobby movie as you can see, you don't have a physical download button. It gives you different sources to download from. So you can download it from Tweakbox, or you can download it from Ignition, or App Valley, or Top Store. So it reminds me of Cydia because you're using different sources other than its own. 
which is pretty cool. So let's say we wanted to download Bobby Movie through Tweakbox. We can just click on it, and as you guys will see, you'll get the, the Tweakbox install pop-up there, and then we can go ahead and install it. Um, it's the same thing for like App Valley. If we select on that, as you can see, app.appvalley.vip would like to install Bobby Movie. So it's using different sources. So if you have an issue with the one from Tweakbox, you can use a different source. And I think that's super creative. And it reminds me of Cydia in the way that, you know, different sources work within Cydia. And I thought that that was awesome. So that is, comes across with a lot of the different applications. It'll give you different options, um, different places to download it from. Let's just do Cody Legacy. Um, as you can see, there is, it's not available on Tweakbox. So there's NA and then it's not available on the top store, but it is available on Ignition and App Valley. So very cool feature to Cyrus Hub. I thought that that was awesome. Again, I like the layout. It's super simple. It's just one page. It's just, you know, the sections, whatever you want to get. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, again, like I said, guys, it's pretty early in development, I believe. So it's a little buggy, but still nonetheless, I think that Cyrus Hub it will be awesome as it gets updated. And it's definitely really cool. Uh, the link for it is down in the description. Again, just so you guys want to, you know, in case you want to download it and try it yourself. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.